Colombia's government and the National Liberation Army or the ELN resumes formal peace talks in Venezuela for the first time since they were suspended back in 2019. The talks are an effort by President Gustavo Petro, Colombia's first ever leftist leader. Petro has vowed a less aggressive approach to end the violence with leftist guerrillas and drug traffickers, according to a joint statement here. The parties agreed to resume dialogue process with full political and ethical will here. U.S. Colombians cannot see each other as enemies. The labor we have is of reconciliation, of finding common ground, of building a nation in peace and equity. That is what we are committed to and that is why we have come to this table and we expect the government delegation to have an interlocutor in the same sense you can count on us. We too can hope to count on you. We believe that respect for differences unites us towards a common purpose. Respect for life, respect for freedom and respect for the changes necessary to overcome a set of rights, issues and inequalities that have been denied to many sectors of the Colombian society. Now, Colombia has suffered more than half a century of armed conflict between the state and various groups here, ranging from left-wing guerrillas, right-wing paramilitaries and drug traffickers. The ELN started as a leftist ideological movement in 1964 before turning to crime and drug trafficking in Colombia and neighboring Venezuela. According to reports, it has around 2,500 members. Dialogue with the group started back in 2016 under ex-president Juan Manuel Santos, who signed a peace treaty with the larger Marxist Revolutionary Armed Forces of Colombia rebel group. But the talks with the ELN were called off in 2019 by conservative former President Ivan Duque, after a car bomb attack on a police academy in Bogota that left 22 people dead. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now, get all the news on the move.